I am Dr. Sudhir Kumar Tyagi, Senior Consultant Neurosurgeon in the Press Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. Today, I will be busting some myths surrounding Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease and dementia are the same thing. It is a myth. Actually, dementia can be caused by many other diseases also. Alzheimer's is one of them. And there are certain diseases which are treatable and certain are not. The dementia which is caused by compression effect like normal pressure hydrocephalus, they are treatable by VP shunt which may be programmable, may be non-programmable. And the disease like Alzheimer's in which the cells, nerve cells of the brain keep degenerating, they have different types of the treatment but they have limited roles right now. I will develop Alzheimer's disease if my parents have it. It is a myth partially because we have seen the patients in which the family runs the Alzheimer's disease but it is very very rare. So if somebody feels that his parents are having Alzheimer's he will also develop the Alzheimer's. It is actually a myth. It is a very rare chance that he will develop a Alzheimer's if his parents are having Alzheimer's. Only people in their 70s and older develop Alzheimer's disease. Actually it is a myth. There are people who have the early onset of the Alzheimer's disease. But most of the patients are elderly and in their 70s when are they are detected as a case of the Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease symptoms are normal as we get older. Actually it is a myth because every elderly person does not develop memory losses. This is a patient who have Alzheimer's disease. They have different set of the symptoms which includes mainly symptom memory lapse. But every older person does not develop the memory lapses. So it is a myth. There are no treatments available for Alzheimer's disease. This is also a myth because lots of research is going on since the Alzheimer's disease as an entity has been recognized and there are certain medicines are already in the market available with which we can treat the Alzheimer's patient though complete cure in Alzheimer's is still a dream but these medicine can reduce the rapid progress of the Alzheimer's disease symptoms. So some medicines are available and can be started early so that patient who are having Alzheimer's disease they don't progress so fast and they can live their life better. If I am forgetting frequently things it is a Alzheimer's disease. No, it is again a myth because forgetfulness, memory lapses and difficulty in recognizing and memorizing the objects can be because of so many other things. There are definite speech areas and the memory areas in the brain which we call Broca's area, Wernicke's area and the memory area. If they can be affected, they are affected by any other disease, we can have the memory lapses and deterioration in our cognitive functions. Alzheimer's disease affects the different neurons of the brain at the different levels. But the other diseases which are specifically affecting the memory area like any tumor, any uh, vascular malformation, any uh, infective disease like tuberculosis, virus or any bacteria, other bacterial infection, these things can also cause memory lapses and the difficulty in speaking the name of the objects and the recognizing the objects. Memory loss is the only symptom of the Alzheimer's disease. It is again a myth. Memory lapses are the main symptoms of the Alzheimer's disease but along with this other cognitive functions of the brain also deteriorate like the way we speak, the way we walk, the way we react to the things and our attention span when we, somebody is talking to us, all these things 
are the also the symptoms of the Alzheimer's disease, but definitely the predominant symptom which is initially noticed are memory losses. Today I burst some myths about the Alzheimer's disease and the general population usually are not aware what is happening with this disease. Actually the quality of life of the patients is at the stake not exactly the life at the stake but the quality of life is very much on the stake and along with this the quality of the whole family is at the stake because if a one person in the family is having Alzheimer's disease he needs to be taken care of by the whole family and along with that they have to consult the neurologist as early as possible so that the medical treatment can be started along with this they have to do good activity part of the patient which keeps the patient involved in physical activity and the mental activities. These things are really important while we are treating or dealing with the patient in the family with Alzheimer's disease. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. If you come across anyone who you feel is having symptoms of the Alzheimer's disease, you should tell the family or the patient that he, they should consult the neurologist as early as possible because sooner we start the treatment and the care of these people, the quality of life is better. Thank you.